Okay, so as always, let's just start by taking a little bit of time to connect with our body. Notice if there's any strain or discomfort in your sitting position, just adjust that. Check that the back is straight and vertical. And just relax into your body. Bring your attention inside. Notice where there's any discomfort, any tension. And just let healing, calm energy come to that place. As you breathe out, release the tension. Let the busy energies within your body gently subside and settle. And the energy of thoughts goes together with that busyness in the body. Just watch them as they gently subside like ripples on a pond. So no need to forcibly suppress them. Just let the echoes rebound. Let the water become still. Be aware of the rhythm of your breathing. Just for a few moments, just follow the sensation of the breath as it enters and leaves the body. Just to send to the mind a little bit more, bring it to stillness. And whatever thoughts or sensations or whatever is going on within your stream of consciousness, just allow that to be what it is, but move your awareness more to the space in which it's happening. In that space of clear awareness. Be aware that your own consciousness is resonating with that of the others in this group. So we're not in an isolated box, but we're all connected, bringing a shared intention, a shared attention to this moment.
and also let your awareness connect to what else is present in the space around you. The other beings in your environment. Whether inside or outside the place the building where you are. Be aware of the plants and animals, the sunshine, the water, the earth. The aliveness of it all. And just let that awareness extend out beyond your immediate surroundings. Everything in this delicate envelope of life that surrounds our living planet is all completely interconnected, interdependent. It is one life, one spirit of life. We are not separate. And this awareness is growing in the world. It's been in eclipse for some time in our society. But be aware now that there are thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people around the world who are learning to connect with that oneness and vastness and wonder and miracle of life. Our unique and extraordinary planet. And who are awakening to the need to bring great care and love to Gaia, Mother Earth, which is in trouble. Because we have been mistreating her through our ignorance. Deep trouble. and deep ignorance that is still very pervasive around the world. But there is an awakening taking place and it is growing. So without getting lost too much in our analytical mind, Let's try to bring our intuitive awareness to tune in to that awakening that is happening. There are thousands of groups like this around the world. Many, many thousands of people and other kinds of groups. Increasingly dedicating their energies their thoughts to healing this injured planet. This can give us great joy and hope to know that we are part of something much faster than this small group. 
So I'm going to stop talking for a few moments to give us more chance to just tune into that intuitively in whatever way you're able to do. No, this is a very large movement and it is growing very fast. See if you can hear with your inner ear, see with your inner eye, all the different groups, projects, spiritual practitioners, people working on reforestation, on influencing governments and corporations, building self-sufficient communities based on ecological principles, working on wildlife conservation, working with indigenous people, simply striving to live a more sustainable lifestyle, protesting, meditating, creating art, poetry, theater, to communicate with people's hearts and minds, the agency, vital importance of coming to the rescue of the global ecosystem. Feel the power of that vast movement as it grows, as it matures, as it becomes more interconnected, as the power structures that are hindering the process beginning to disintegrate. At the 11th hour, we can wonder if there is still hope, if the spirit of ecological, spiritual awareness is strong enough can reach wide enough to bring what's needed.
But as Joanna Macy has said, we don't need hope in the sense of just imagining that everything's going to be all right. We need active hope in the sense of channeling our own energy, our own thinking and feeling and doing in the direction of the vision of healing our world, healing our fragmented society, bringing into being a world that is in balance with nature, that has social justice, Quality that is ruled by compassion, kindness, and wisdom. So, again, I'll stop talking and just allow everyone to connect with that vision. What does that mean to you? What would that be like? <laughs> 